Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Me pueden ver bien. Estaba probando un fondo de pantalla, pero no sé si me ven bien. Sí, se ve bien. ¿Se ve bien? Ok, perfecto. No sé por qué no tengo opción de verme, de ver mi pantalla. Eh, bien raro. Bueno, yo no veo, no me veo, porque normalmente uno se ve en la pantalla, pero no me puedo ver, por eso les pregunto. Thank you. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay. Hmm. Can you see my screen now? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Sí, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? ¿Cómo están? Bye. Okay, good. We're going to wait uh, two minutes. Vamos a esperar dos minutos más para uh, que se unan los, los demás. ¿Han trabajado en la plataforma ahora? Have you been working on the platform? Good night. Good evening. Sí. Yes, okay. That is good. Okay. Um, Today, baby, I'm busy, I'm busy. It's okay. I'm working. Sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to start right now. Today is Thursday, January 19, 2023. Okay, this is the model number two. The agenda for today, uh, first we're going to read the objectives. Then we are going to start working the simple present statement, uh, la tarea que les dejé, the homework. And we're going to see a video about that, um, explanation and everything, okay? In order we can understand the simple present okay we're going to have a conversation we're going to fill the blanks in a conversation to practice vamos a, a completar una conversación para practicar okay objectives at the end of this class this is the main objective okay at the end of this class you will be able to apply simple present using regular verbs and also irregular verbs at the end of this class, also you will be able to write sentences, okay, in simple present. That will be the main objectives for this lesson. Okay, I will share a link that I have. Let me send it to 
to the chat. Okay, later on, we're going to resolve questions or doubts that you may have about the platform, okay? At the end, of, at the end I will have five minutes in order that we can see that example. Okay, click on it, hagan click en este link y lo va a llevar a esta pantalla. Okay. Here you can click. Van a hacer clic en este signo y ya van a poder ustedes escribir. Write your name. For example. And I'm going to write the three sentences. Van, me van a escribir las tres oraciones que les, que les dejé de tarea. Por ejemplo. I play This is just an example. Okay? And then let... Podri... Yes. Podría compartir otra vez el link que no le no lo capture, por favor. El link. Okay, ahorita. Se los envía al chat. Puede entrar al chat de, de ah, sí. ahí está ah, va, yes. luego le van a dar aquí publicar y ya va a aparecer aquí su participación ok teacher yes Eh, el link lo envió por el chat de, de acá, de la plataforma. De Zoom, yes. No me aparece. Ok, déjeme enviarlo al WhatsApp. Ok, Azucena Guadalupe. We have the first one. Okay, un momento, por favor. Okay, ya se lo envié al WhatsApp. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, acá, no sé quién lo escribió, pero por favor escriba su nombre. I read the Bible. Okay. Eh, y la número dos sería I listen to music. Ok. Recuerda que eh, no estamos viendo ahorita. Uh, I work in the office. It's ok. No estamos viendo todavía el... Um, Bueno, eso lo vimos en el módulo 1, el, el presente continuo, pero cuando usted escribe con ing un verbo, usted agrega el verbo to be antes, ¿ok? Por eso no está correcto así. Tendría que estar en, en, en presente simple. I listen to music, ¿ok? Or I read the Bible. Okay, <clears throat> I live with my parents. My mother doesn't work. My husband works to downtown, but he goes to work on weekends. Okay, very good. Muy bien. 
Uh, my friend dances bachata very well. I am good truck driver. Okay. I like to listen to music every day. I like to go to the church. I like to tell stories. Okay. Very good, Maria Santos. Okay. Okay. Uh, Beatriz. In this case, the number one, la numero uno, le quita el, el, el I am, el am, okay? Solo I ride my bike, okay? Porque en este okay. caso no es necesario, okay. uh -huh, no es necesario el verbo to be. Porque estamos en simple present, okay? Cuando, cuando utilizamos el, el simple present, Um, no utilizamos el am o are o is, no. Eso es solo cuando utilizamos el present continuous, cuando le agregamos ing al verbo. Okay, we drive to the, yeah, we, we drive to the beach every summer. I had to tell you something. Can you ride a bike? Okay, aquí hizo como una pregunta, pero está bien, okay? Ahorita estamos haciendo solo positive statements, okay? Pre eh, oraciones positivas. Okay, we are 22 students. Okay, 21 students. I will take attendance at the end, okay? So, rapidito, solo voy a, voy a, a pasar lista, faltando unos 10 minutos. Um, porque sí son, son, son bastantes. Quiero llevar el control bien de, de la asistencia. Okay, who else? Quien más? Okay. Um, okay, Christian David, and listen to music, and listen, I am listening. Sería aquí. Recuérdese que aquí no es necesario el verbo to be. Okay. okay. I listen to music. Sería el correcto. Okay. I am dancing with my uh, girlfriend. It's okay, pero ese no es present, no es simple present. Eso sería ya um, present continuous. Okay. I'm walking. Um, here is a, is a spelling mistake. Hay un spelling mistake ahí. Maybe uh, you want to write two, right? Yes, el corrector de, del teléfono. Okay. I walk for four, take the bus. I want to take, okay, two, take the bus. I work eight hours every day. Okay, very good. Muy bien. I drive a black car, okay? I walk to the school every morning. I take the bus every morning. Okay, darling, very good. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Carlita says, no puede acceder a la red. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they, she has internet issues. Okay. Later on, I will check all of them. Lo voy a chequear al final. Si usted no ha terminado, igual me lo puede enviar. Um, and then uh, later I will check if 
Y si está, usted necesita que se lo corrija, se lo voy a corregir. Y si no necesita que, si todo está bien, solo le voy a poner un OK. Good. We're going to continue. I have a video for you. It is related to the presence, to the simple present, okay? Um, para que puedan ver un poquito más del uso de este tiempo. Okay, let me send the link. It, um, let me see. It is for, almost five minutes. Let me send it here to the to the chat and and WhatsApp too. Okay, uh, Jennifer solo le va a dar eh, ahí donde dice publicar en la esquinita y ya se envía. Okay, uh, here is the link in the chat. Play, play the video now, okay? I will give you five minutes. Porque después vamos a, a, a hacerles preguntas de eso. Okay. Affirmative. Subject. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Please mute mute your your I, microphone, Jen. Jen. Coffee. Okay, okay. Thank you.
<clears throat> Did you finish? Terminaron? Okay. Eh, estaba midiendo el tiempo y yo siento que ya, ya deberían de terminar, right? right? Okay, good. This is the way that we can conjugate the present simple, affirmative, okay? Positive. Cuando es posit en, en forma positiva, sería, quedaría así. Okay? Um, con el mismo verbo, ok, que es play. I play the piano, ok. You play the piano. Ahora, cuando es tercera persona, when it's when it third person, that is he or she plays, ok. We always, we are going to add the letter S. Le vamos a agregar, a agregar la letra? S. S, ok. Por esa razón, en este caso sería, he plays, he plays the piano, or she plays the piano, okay? We play the piano, they play the piano, okay? Eh, otro, otro pronombre que también se le agrega la letra S es el it, okay? Se le, le, se le vamos a agregar la letra okay. E. En este caso sería eh, la S únicamente a las terceras personas en singular. Correcto, correcto. Ok, very good. Singular. Es un buen, una, una buena regla a aprenderse eso. Ok. That is affirmative. Ok. okay. Eh, todas las los statements, oraciones, well, sentences or statements que ustedes hicieron eran positivas, right? Algunos usaron third person, usaron tercera persona. Y vi que le agregaron este. That is good. Ok. Pero si usted no le agrega este a esta, a esta tercera persona que sería she or she, he or it, eh, sería, estaría gramaticalmente incorrecto. Ok. Good. Now, in a negative way. Ok. En forma negativa. What is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? El das y es siempre en las terceras personas ya no iría do, sino que sería das. Ok, good. I don't. Ok, y si usted lo quiere agregar, a, a, lo quiere abreviar, sería I don't, pero en este caso no I está don't. no está abreviado o no es no es no está con apóstrofe, ¿ok? En este caso sería I do not, ¿ok? I do not play the piano. I do not play the piano. You don't you you do not play do. the piano, ¿ok? She or or he or she does not Pass. play the piano. Mm -hmm. We do not play the piano. They do not play no. the piano. Okay, that is a negative way to, to say a, a sentence or a statement. Okay, si usted me dice positive, I drive my car. Si usted la, lo hace negative, ¿cómo lo haría? I don't okay. drive my car. I don't drive my car or I do not. Okay. Okay. Good. Let me see. Contract. Mm -hmm. En la forma contractada. And this is the way that we're going. Yes. As you can see, you can see, I don't. Okay. Solo le agregamos, eh, unimos las dos, el do y el not. Y le, en vez de la O, lleva un apóstrofe acá. Okay, esa es la forma que usted lo va 
a contractar. Ok. Good. Uh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de las de cómo hacer una oración positiva y negativa? Do you have questions? Do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas? No, teacher. No, ok. Ok. Um, I need help. Ok. Who wants to read this? The, the positive sentences. Positive statements. Who wants to read that? ¿Quién quiere leerme? Clean. Mm -hmm. Who wants to read it? Okay, Oscar Mauricio. Okay, the first one. Aldo Stewart. Ah, uh, okay, the ones that you can see in my screen. Las que usted ve en mi pantalla. Okay, I walk. I go walk. To I walk to school. Okay. Number two. You ride. You ride. Your bike to a store. Your bike to school. Okay. Number three. She works near here. Okay. She okay. takes the bus to work. Okay, good. We live with our parents. Okay, excellent. The use public transportation. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. And now who wants to read the negative statements? Los negativos. Okay, Jacqueline, Carolina. I don't live far from here. Mm -hmm. You don't live near here. Okay. He doesn't work downtown. Okay, good. He doesn't drive to work. Okay, excellent. We don't live alone. Okay. They don't need a car. Okay, very good. Yes, and this is a way that we're going to make the con the contraction, okay? Uh, don't, it is for do not. And doesn't is for doesn't not, okay? Good, is it, is it clear now? Está claro or do you need more explanation about this? Uh -huh. No questions? Si alguien tiene preguntas, please let me know. Okay, that means that everything is, is okay so far. Okay, we're going to make some examples here. Uh, volunteers, who wants to tell me examples? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. He plays soccer. He plays, plays soccer. Okay, good. And the negative? He doesn't play soccer. Very good. Okay, we're going to make it. Um, con okay, the contract. We're going to use a contraction there. He doesn't play soccer. Okay. What happens with the letter S? Cuando la hacemos negativa, ¿qué pasa con la letra S? Que usamos en la positiva. Eh, no va en la tercera persona ya la S porque el das la lleva. Okay, very good. Good example. Okay. Me gusta ese ejemplo. I like it. Good. Thank you. Someone else who wants to provide me an example? Someone else who has an example? ¿Alguien más tiene un ejemplo? No? Okay. Well, that means that is that, that you are okay so far. We are going to complete this.
Okay, we're going to complete we're going to complete these uh sentences that we have here. Okay. Okay. My family and I live or lives. Live. The first one? Yes. Live. Okay, good. No. We are going to change the color. Okay, we're going to change the color to this one. Okay. No, let me uh, just another one. Okay. In the sideboard. Okay. My wife and I work work. 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 The work. first. The first one. Work. Okay. Work. Good. Near okay. near here. Okay. So we, so we walk the boat. Walk. The first one. The first one. Walk. Okay. Good. To work. Okay. Our daughter Emily work works. 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 Okay. Because is third person, right? Third person. Okay. Works downtown. So she drive or drives? Drives. 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 She drives. To work. Okay. Our son don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. doesn't. drive. Okay. Doesn't. He Ride or ride? Ride. ride. Okay, he rides. Um, His bike to school. Okay, good. My parents live or live? Live. 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 Okay, live in the city. My mother take or takes? Takes. 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 Because it's she, right? Okay. Takes a takes uh, a train to work. My father is retired, so he don't or doesn't doesn't doesn't. Okay, he doesn't work now. He also use or uses 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 uses, uses. uses. because we are uses. speaking about uses. he right. He uses public transportation okay so they don't don't, 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 don't. they don't need, need a, car. A, car. a car okay good very good so very good um exercise now Simple present statement with regular verbs, okay? With irregular, so in this case, it, uh, sorry, it is irregular verbs. Why they are irregular verbs? The verb have or has, and the verb do has. and does. Yeah. And go. Go. Por qué, so, ¿Por qué son irregulares? Do you know? Cambian, ¿ok? El verbo cambia. Cuando lo usamos... Eh, de, bueno, con terceras personas va a ser diferente. Y si lo usamos con I, you, we, they, sería normal, ¿ok? Example, I have a bike, okay? My father has a car because it's he. Con estos tres pronouns, siempre va a ser um, diferente, okay? Con estos verbos irregulares. Eh, en simple present. Siempre le vamos a agregar 
eh, va, perdón, siempre va a cambiar el verbo. Los verbos regulares solo le agregamos S, pero el irregular eh, cambia, ¿ok? My father has a car, ¿ok? We do our homework every day, ¿ok? We do. In this case, we're going to, to call, ok, my mother, ¿ok? Is she. My mother doesn't... Sorry, my mother does a lot, a lot of work at home. Ok, does. Si aquí fuera they, ¿qué iría acá? Do or does? They do. They do, right? Ok, very good. My parents go to work by bus. Ok, the bus goes downtown. Ok, aquí porque estamos hablando de, de algo. Cuando es cosa o animal, podemos referirnos a it, ok? It. Por eso es, es third person. Cuando es un animal, pero conocemos el sexo, sabemos que es uh, femenino o masculino, sí podemos decir he or she, pero cuando sabemos, pero cuando no, nos podemos referir a it. That is okay. Okay, good. Do you have questions about this? ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de estos verbos? De el verbo have y has, que significa tener. Y del verbo do en das, que significa hacer. O puede servir como auxiliar. En este caso, para hacer una oración negativa también para hacer preguntas, ¿ok? Eso lo vamos a ir viendo después. Y el verbo uh, go, ustedes saben el significado, pero en tiempo presente, simple present, va a cambiar si se usa con tercera persona. Sería he goes. Ok. Good. Do you have questions? Preguntas? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Patricia Lisset dice que no escucha. Ya escucha. ¿Patricia? Sí, sí. Ok, good. ¿No questions so far? So far, so good. Ok, hasta el momento todo bien. Ok, complete the sentences. Ahora vamos a completar otras oraciones, ok? Well, now, with the very um, have or has, using go or go, or do or does. Ok, here. Let me call one by one. Y voy a pedir su participación. Ok, Geraldine, reset. My parents have or have. has? My parents mm -hmm. have. Okay. Have. Okay. Okay, have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad. Uh, Abigail de Los Angeles. Go or goes? Goes. Okay. Downtown to work. My parents are very busy, so I do or does? I do. I do. Okay. Good. Uh, Azucena Guadalupe. My brother doesn't live with us. He? Have or has? Has. He has an apartment in the city. He go or goes? Goes. Okay, he goes to school all day and he? Uh, yes. Cecilio Antonio, he do or does?
does. Okay, he does office work at night. Okay, good. Sally Anabella, I have or I has? I have. Okay, I have a, a new friend. His name is Jason. We go or goes? Go. We go. Okay, good. Um, Fatima Natalia. We do or we does? We does. We, we do. We do. We do, okay, our home, homework together. Okay, very good. Um, now, I will request someone read this paragraph. If, if you want to be a volunteer, it's okay. It's okay. Um, just tell me. Oh, Jacqueline, Carolina. Okay, read the, the correct verb okay but read the complete paragraph from here to here my family I'm sorry I... from here to here to school go ahead my family and i live in the suburb my wife and i work near here so we walk to work her daughter Emily works downtown, so she drives to work. Her son Don drive. He rides his bike home. Okay, my son Don or Dasen. Her son Dasen drive. Dasen. Okay, okay. Try to make the sound. S, ok. Traten de hacer el sonido S de la letra S al final porque si, si ustedes no lo hacen, no se escucha, ok. Mm. She drives. She drives to work. Ok, good. Um, volunteers? Another volunteer? Otro voluntario para el number two? No? Eh, yo, perdón, mi. Okay. My parents, my parents live in the city. My mother take a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work to now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay, for this one, volunteers? Jolie. Brenda, Maribel, go ahead. Yes. Number one. Well, my parents have a house in this suburb. My mom and dad um, goes. Go. Okay, remember go. when you say mom and dad, se refiere go. a dos personas, okay? Entonces, se refiere a they. Entonces, sería go. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, las, esa palabra no la puedo pronunciar. Downtown. Uh, downtown. To work, my parents are very um, busy. Bus. Busy. Be busy. Um, so I do a lot of work and home. Okay, very good. Thank you. Volunteers for number two. Oh. Jenny, go ahead, Jenny. Uh, is that mute? My brother doesn't live with us. He has a, an apartment in the city. 
she goes to school all day, and she goes off to work at night. Okay, he have or has? Uh, he have. have or has? Have. He has on a party. Have. Okay. Be estamos hablando de tercera persona. Va a, va, va siempre va, va a ser en este caso has. Okay. No have. Sí, sí, lo dije en tercera, pero casi no se escucha. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. He go or he goes to school? He goes. He goes to school, okay? He do or he does? Does. He does. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, Maria Santos, do you want to participate for number three? I yes. have a new friend. His name is Jackson. We go to the same school and sometimes we do work home and work together. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Someone else who wants to participate? Alguien más? Someone else? No? Okay. <clears throat> we have another conversation here. Can you see the complete conversation? Yes? Who wants to participate? Someone will be Jack and someone else will be Amy. Okay. Christian and Maria Santos, go ahead. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, bye. Let's go in the afternoon. I sleep later and weekend. What time do you get get up on Sunday? At ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast? Then sure. Then. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Good. All right. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation, Christian. Thank and you. Maria, um, we need to improve a little bit, okay? I'm going to uh, read the conversation and then the rest, if you want to participate, um, please let me know. Okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays at 10 o'clock? Uh, okay, this is a question. What time do you get up on Sundays? And Amy says at 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay. All day. Yes, all day. Good. Who else? Someone else who wants to read the, the, the conversation? Okay. Geraldine, do you want to be Jack or Amy? Jack. Jack, okay. And Oscar Mauricio, go ahead. Oh, take a minute, please. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Uh, what time do you get up on the Sunday? On Sunday. At uh, ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. Um, Sundays I get up at noon. 
do you eat, eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, very good. Do you have new words on that uh, conversation? Palabras nuevas? No? No, right. No, teacher, no. Okay. Very good. So here we are using the auxiliary do to, to write, to make a question. If you see, it says do, okay? Do you eat breakfast then? Okay. Y si aquí fuera she, ¿cómo sería? Do or does? Si aquí fuera she. Does she. Okay. Does. Okay. She does, does she eat breakfast then? Okay. Very good. Um, what time do you get up on Sundays? Okay, aquí también estamos utilizando el WH questions, pero también el auxiliar do. Okay, what time did you get up on Sundays? Okay, very good. Okay, let me just take attendance uh, para asegurarme quiénes están y quiénes no. And then we are going to, to have another activity, okay? Abigail de Los Ángeles. Present. Good. Uh, Ana Beatriz Salamanca. Present teacher. Okay, Brenda Maribel. Brenda. No, Azucena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Brenda is, is here. Okay. Very good. Uh, Carolina Roxana. Present teacher. Cecilio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Celia Anabela. Present teacher. Thank you. Christian David. Present teacher. Good. Darling Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Fatima Natalia. Present teacher. Thank you. Geraldine Lisette. Present teacher. Good. Jacqueline Carolina. Jacqueline. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Vanessa. Present teacher. Good. Um, Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer Elizabeth. Are you there? Okay. Jose Alejandro Valladares. Jose. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Present. Okay, just a moment. Uh, Jose Alfredo is here. Yes. Um, Jose Al Alvaro Hernandez. Alvaro. No. Uh, Jose Serafín. Jose Serafín. No. Okay. Uh, Juan Javier. Juan Javier. Um, Carla Esther. Carla. Present, Miss. Thank you. 
Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel. Remember, um, si no está ahí cuando lo, lo llame, le voy a poner ausente. Ok, María Santos, yes, you are here. Uh, Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Sí, teacher, me se me desconectó un ratito, pero aquí estoy. Ok. ¿Quién, la... ¿Quién dijo que Jenny estaba Elizabeth ahí? Elizabeth Hernández. Yo, yo, Jenny Elizabeth Hernández. Ok. Elizabeth Hernández. Ok, good. Es que se me va la señal. Ok, thank you. Moisés, Josué. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Lisset Crespi. Norma. Ok. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you. Patricia Lisset. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Susana Dinora. Susan. Susana. Okay. Good. Um, si no lo llamé, por favor, dígame ahorita, okay? A mí se me cortó la señal. Oscar, José Alejandro. Mauricio. José Alejandro Valladares. Oh, José Alejandro, ok, José. José Alejandro. Thank you, José. Good. I appreciate your attendance, ok? Aprecio su asistencia. Ok. Um, Thank you. Okay, now, now that you know how to write sentences and statements, positive and negative, okay, for tomorrow you're going to write otros tres statements positivos, okay, tres positivos, de esos mismos tres me va a ser, eh, uno, ne me va a ser uno negativo de cada uno, serían seis. Y me va a hacer una horas, una pregunta. I will write an example. Un ejemplo. En total serían nueve, ¿ok? A simple example here. I play soccer. Es un, un ejemplo simple, ¿ok? Negative. I don't play soccer. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo lo haría como pregunta? Ajá. Uh -huh. do, do you play soccer? Do you play soccer? Ok, así. Do they play soccer? Si lo hace como que lo los está haciendo plural, do they play soccer. Uh -huh. Si fuera, si fuera eh, he, sorry. ¿Cómo lo haría? Con he. Does, does, does he or she? Does he play soccer? Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, for tomorrow, write um, three sentences, okay, from each one, negative and question. Okay? Good. Okay, teacher. Thank you, guys. I really teacher. appreciate your attendance. Yes? Sería solo con el do o puede ser con have también? También con have or have. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. Si tiene preguntas acerca de, de, de cómo llenar la plataforma, please let me know by WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ahí les puedo ayudar. Si usted tiene tiempo durante el día, unos cinco o diez minutos, I can help you, ¿ok? Thank you, teacher. Ok, thank you. Have good a night. nice thank you. Um, night. Good, good, night. good night. Thank good you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye, bye guys. Bye. 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 Take care.